everybody. Today we're going to be talking about male and female headers, such as the ones here. These are both single row 40 pin male headers with a spacing or pitch of 2.54 millimeters or 0.1 inches. That's a very common spacing and it is useful if you are, for example, working with uh, breadboards to prototype your circuit. The male header can just fit right into that. Uh, another application for them would be if you've got an empty uh, board like this and you'd like to solder your male and female headers onto that. Now, note that the male header has one short and one long end, while the female header only has a short end. Typically, the short end is the one that gets soldered. So, for example, I have a small section here of a male header. You would put your male header in like this and solder the back. You could use the, the long end uh, if you have a certain application and uh, uh, solder this and clip off the excess. But again, typically it is the short end. Now the female header, like I said, only has a short end. So for example, here's a four pin uh, female header and that is perfect for soldering the length of that. Um, also note, and this is fairly obvious, one wouldn't put a female header into, for example, a breadboard. Uh, number one, it doesn't make a lot of sense because you're not gaining anything uh, in terms of um, pins. But more importantly, one should note that because of the short length of the female header, if you put it into a breadboard, depending on your breadboard, you may or may not make electrical contact with the rows inside of the breadboard. Um, so it's not a good idea, right? But for the male header, certainly this is a good application. Let's talk about uh, how to break these headers. The male header is very straightforward to break. There's indentations already in here and they break very easy. Now, we wouldn't recommend to break them just like this. Um, it, is, it is common to use uh, needle nose pliers or some other kind of pliers or tools. Here I've got a pair of needle nose pliers and you simply hold the last pin that you want. So for example, let's break off uh, four pins. One, two, three, four. And on the fourth one, I like to hold the needle nose pliers and they break very easy. So you don't really need another set of pliers. You can simply put your finger right next to it and apply just a little bit of pressure and see they break right off. So now you've got four pin male header and you can use it uh, in any of your applications. Now the female header is a little bit, uh, there's an extra step so it's a little bit more complicated. The female header you're always going to lose one pin when you're shortening the header. If you do a bad job at it you can lose more but the goal is to only lose a single pin. So let us break this female header uh, in a way so that we remain with four pins, just like we did with the male header. In this case, we would count one extra. So one, two, three, four, and we're going to pull out, uh, preferably with something like a needle nose pliers, we're gonna pull out this pin. Uh, you need to tuck on this a little bit. There's a bit of a uh, resistance, which is good. That's a sign of a good quality header. So we would pull on this and it comes out. So this we discard. There's a couple ways to now proceed. Uh, a common way is to use a knife and indent right along uh, where we just pulled this pin out. You can indent there. So make sure you have a sharp knife and uh, some kind of straight edge, solid edge, and then you can score it. Once you've scored it, you can simply snap it off. However, I, I find that um, a tool like this would work very easily. You simply line up your tool with the groove that you've just made and give it give it a cut. Now I'm at an angle here so that would be uh, resulting in a bad cut. Make sure that you are straight on the groove and give it a cut. It's going to cut fairly easily but I like to hold on to this edge. I don't want it to fly or do anything and see it actually just the weight of the tool itself cut this header. So now we've lost this pin and we see that the edge of this is a little bit rough, but it's not a big deal. Um, it's more of a cosmetics. If you want to go ahead and clean that up, you can again use this tool 
to uh, cut off a little bit of the extra. It goes fairly easily. Or you can use some sandpaper and just, just rub it a little bit off and here we go. Don't go too far because you don't want to go and expose the metal of the next pin. But here we go, this is now a ready to go four pin female header and you can use this in your applications as well. If you have any questions about uh, these products or anything else, feel free to contact us. You can reach out on this channel, on our Facebook page or on our Amazon page. And we will talk to you next time.